Here we see a drill for developing explosive power by driving the arms upward. Again, this exercise emphasizes the arms for quick explosive movement for jumping. Notice the arms are bent. Here, players have to follow a jumping sequence following the clapping tempo from the coach. This full body exercise drill is designed to help the athlete develop explosive jumping power and use of arms and blocking. Notice the organization of the drill as the coach carefully places the ball so that the athlete is in constant motion and not waiting to receive a ball. The next series of drills that you will see focuses on speed, forcing the athlete to stay on their feet. Although this drill shows setting, it can be done with a combination of digging and setting or all of one skill. Low posture and the ability to move maintaining that position is the key element in passing and defense. All of these drills should be done at the highest speed possible to challenge the athlete. This drill again focuses on the low posture and ability to move, maintaining that posture, now moving in several different directions with the use of the cones at the chosen tempo from the coach. Once the athlete is comfortable, the cones can be removed. A good way of developing stamina with your setter is to have the setter set both sides of the net. This is another speed development drill demonstrated by younger athletes. Using two balls to maximize movement and low body posture, these drills are designed to focus on the lateral shuffling footwork. These next two activities are fun for the younger age groups to develop lower and upper body strength. Push your arm. Again, athletes need to develop stamina. Here you see another drill designed to keep the athlete in constant motion but also having to use explosive movement and speed. This drill can be very demanding if done properly by staying in a low posture. 
the three athletes are expected to work as a team, playing the ball and returning to their cone, traveling around the cone together in the same direction. Here are individual drills that can be used to develop strength and agility. The purpose of this drill is for the athlete to achieve 10 sets over the net from coach-fed balls. If the athlete just touches a ball, no score is achieved. If a ball hits the floor, the athlete loses one point. The coach has the ability to make the drill last as long or short as they like. Speed is extremely important in the game of volleyball, especially in short distances. As you see in these various speed and agility exercises, they all involve short bursts of speed, changes of direction, and many repetitions. Quick feet are an essential ingredient for all volleyball players. It is important to do these exercises in both directions.
Strength and balance is essential for the volleyball athlete as they will make many adjustments and maneuvers in the air and outside their center of gravity or midline of their body. Notice that full range of motion is obtained with every exercise. This section shows it is not essential to have fancy equipment or expensive gym memberships to develop or maintain good physical condition. Self-motivation for an athlete to work out on their own at home should be encouraged. 